What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Roy Jones Jr. Get this, Roy Jones Jr. willing to step in for the injured Mike Tyson against Jake Paul. Jones has thrown his name into the mix to replace the injured Mike Tyson in his fight with Jake Paul. Jones, who fought Tyson in an exhibition back in 2020, is himself is 55 years old, but most recently fought as a professional last year in a majority decision defeat against Anthony Pettis. Jones was once considered one of the finest to have ever lived, but his career went too long and defeats against low caliber opponents tarnish his resume. Now the former champion is hoping to claw back some respect. He says, maybe I get myself in shape for that because I never thought about doing it before, but with the situation of the fight being postponed, I think that's a great idea. And I'll be ready and in shape because if the fight doesn't happen, then I'm then I'm the ideal guy to substitute in place of Mike Tyson to fight Jake Paul. Uh, it is something I have been thinking about. If the Jake Paul fight is out there, then yes, I would take it. Those are the words of Roy Jones Jr. Let me counterpunch. Um, I think at this point, Roy Jones Jr., in the mind of Jake Paul, I think he would be a perfect candidate for a very <sighs> embarrassing, possible embarrassing display. You know, we've seen Belford versus Holyfield. I didn't like that. Roy Jones Jr. is ideal. I'm not saying that Roy couldn't do it. Don't get me wrong. I think Roy's, you know, can look what he did to uh, Indom, the big African dude. Look, he beat the dog shit out of him. Oh, yes, he did. But it was some virtual weird kind of deal they did. I don't know. I think that was just to keep it from actually being live. So people, you know, I think so people won't see it in, in, in its reality. They looked and they really did it on a virtual reality platform, but Roy still beat the shit out of him. Reality or virtual reality. He still did this man in. Now, I'm not saying he can't do that to Jake Paul. What I'm saying is Jake Paul is notorious for fighting people over the hill. And one thing he does his homework on each fighter that he picks. He wanted Mike because Mike is down near 60. He would want Roy Jones because Roy Jones is older, of course. And on top of that, him doing his homework on Roy Jones, he's been knocked out a half a dozen times. You know what I mean? More, just more, more, just too much for comfort. He's been knocked out cold, like bow is out sleep. You know what I mean? And I think someone like Jake Paul will see that. And, you know, see, envision himself doing that to Roy because once you start getting knocked out, your durability is out of the window. Your punch resistance is out of the window. You're not going to get tougher when you get older. You're going to get wiser and smarter not to have your ass in that situation in the first place. Some people do. Some people don't. That's what happens when people keep getting older and older. They get more and more vulnerable. They get damaged more. It takes longer to recuperate. You know what I mean? So a lot of strange things happen when you get past 50. Okay. So I hear. <laughs> right. So um, I, if I'm Roy, I mean, Roy always wants a challenge. You know, and I, I, I'm thinking, well, the, the paycheck and the payday would be good, too. But I think Jake Paul would take a fight like that based on what Roy has already been through. I think he would do that because of that reason. Like, man, you know how many times Roy Jones Jr. that got knocked out? Oh, yeah. Sign him. Give him five, ten million, whatever the amount of money is supposed to be. You know, Roy will take it because Roy is that guy. Will it be entertaining? Of course it'll be entertaining. Jake Paul and Anderson Silva was very entertaining until he called Jake Paul in the last round. I mean, Anderson Silva in the last round because Anderson Silva was doing his due diligence at age 47 at the time that they fought. I think he's like 49 now, you know, or 50. Nonetheless, Jake Paul was younger, more testosterone, you know what I mean? Like more energy. So yeah, you know, you would expect that 
when the leather starts flying recklessly like it did in that particular situation. And with Roy Jones, you know, someone like Jake Paul, he figures Roy Jones is low hanging fruit for him. So if he hears that, I bet when he hears that, he's going to take full account or consideration into taking on the great Roy Jones Jr. because of the fact of what happened to him in his career. And I'm not talking about the knockouts that he gave other people. I'm talking about the knockouts that he received from other people. But you guys tell me what you think of Roy Jones Jr. willing to step in for Mike Tyson. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Hey.